Hello everyone. Now we will find out the spring constant of a springs in series combination or it is also called as the force constant. Here we have considered the two springs spring S1 with the spring constant K1 spring H2 with the spring constant K2. Now there is no load so this is without any load we have connected two springs in series. Now let us load with the mass M. Say I'll draw it once again. This is a rigid support. This after loading a mass M, the spring S1 will stretch by X1 extension. Say this is a spring S1 which has been extended by X1. And then this is a spring S2 by adding the mass, this will also extend or extension takes place that is this one so we have added the mass m to this so extension has been taken place this is the original point of the s1 spring and this is the final point of the s1 spring this is the original position of s1 and this is the final point of S2 okay so this much is the extension taking took place that is X1 and this much is is the extension X so here in this distance this much X1 is included and this much is the x2 so this total extension which is it is x is equal to x1 plus x2 so we here we have to write the description saying that s1 is the spring with the k1 spring constant s2 is the spring with the k2 spring constant after loading the mass m to this x1 is the extension or the elongation taking place x2 is the elongation which is taking place that is a length which is stretched over here then a total extension is this one this is the total extension which is which is taking place in this combination as equation number one now we know that from the SSM equation or Hooke's law that is restoring force is proportional to the minus of the displacement or we write this as F is equal to minus K into X where K is the spring constant where K is the spring constant now for spring S1 this can be written as for, for spring S1 this equation can be written as F is equal to minus K1 X1 and in turn we can write this equation for X1 is equal to minus F divided by K1 let us call this equation number 2 okay similarly for S2 we can write this F is equal to minus K2 X2 where K2 is the spring constant of a second spring and x2 is the extension elongation or stretching taking place in the s2 spring let us call this equation number as 3 now for combination of s1 and s2 we have another equation that is this equation for combination of s1 and s2 okay s1 and s2 in series we have f is equal to minus ks x where x is the total extension taking place so that x we can write it as minus f divided by ks see this is equation number four so we have values x1 value we have and then we have here uh, here we can write this x2 value x2 value we can be written as minus f divided by k2 say so call this as equation number 2 and this is equation number 4 let us substitute these three equations 
in equation number one we have equation number one that is x is equal to x1 plus x2 now let us substitute the value of x value of x1 value of x2 in the equation so value of x is minus f divided by ks is equal to value of x1 is minus f divided by k1 then minus plus and this is minus of f divided by k2 like this so here we can cancel out this equation so this is uh, f will get cancelled this f will get cancelled and equally we, we can cancel the minus sign also we remain with we remain with 1 divided by ks is equal to 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k2 so this is the general equation in fact we can go ahead with this taking the lcm of this k1 k2 and in the numerator we have k1 plus k2 so this will be 1 divided by ks so value of ks will be so ks is equal to k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 so this is the spring constant of a springs in series combination for only two springs this is only for two springs if i have three springs then equation will be different if i have four springs then equation will be different like that for n springs in series for n springs in series so same equation this equation will take that is 1 divided by ks is equal to 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k k2 so till 1 divided by kn so this equation we can write in terms of uh, summation as summation of this 1 divided by ki where i is running from 1 to n so this is 1 divided by ks so this is the spring constant of a springs in series